There it is, the sunlight, six months of daylight for Antarctica, but we just came out one of the second coldest periods at the Edmundston Scott South Pole Station, averaging minus 63 degrees Celsius for those three months, second coldest on record, and the culprits, two periods of strong winds encircling the continent that really protected warm air from infiltrating the cold interior regions. And of course, the strong stratospheric polar vortex played a role as well. Yeah, it's not just a Arctic issue. The polar darkness occurs from April to September, and the atmosphere actually bends the sunlight, so we get a little bit more sunlight covering the planet than darkness by about 60 kilometers or so. There's the Terminator line as it's known, the 24-hour darkness pivoting around the Antarctic continent. Antarctic sea ice naturally a little bit above normal with those cooler temperatures swirling around the continent, but it is an anomaly. If you slice the globe up, the only cold air latitudes that were below seasonal were south of 60. Once you moved 60 degrees south northward to the equator and then northern hemisphere really had an exceptionally warm June and cold records becoming the outlier. Decades, recent decades have really alluded to the fact that 80 to 90% of records we break are of the warm variety. And in terms of climate science, extreme cold or their lack thereof, we are most confident that is due to anthropogenic climate change.